Okay, uh, this will be video number two of some of the random electronics that I'll be uh, taking videos of. I um, thought I'd go a little old school and go ahead and uh, video the video game system I had when I was younger. Uh, I got this video game system when I was mm, probably 11 or 12. Um, a lot of you probably have seen this. Some of you probably have not. Um, anyway, it is my Atari 2600. Um, I'll show you the actual console here in a second. Um, shortly after I got the console, about a year or so later, I got this cool uh, holder for it. It's It's got a dust cover, keeps all the stuff out of it. It's just pretty good size here. Um, so anyway, let me take the top off here, and, uh, there it is. There it is. That is the actual console. Um, as you can see, it's that thing's actually called an Atari Game Center. Um, I got this for Christmas in probably 82 or 83. Um, I was so excited when I got this thing. I hooked it right up to the TV, and I played it for hours. I didn't even want to open up any other presents. As far as I was concerned, this was my actual Christmas present. Um, lots of games. I'll show you here in a second. Um, so basically the console just sits on top of this. And, uh, move the console out of the way here. So... Of course, there was game cartridges back in those days, so power pack. This isn't the original one. The other one since gave it up a long time ago. Move that off to the side there. There's wires. Um, got a. Here's one of the joysticks. I believe it's. I'm pretty sure it still works. I played this system a couple of years ago. Um, so, anyway, these were just the basic cartridges. Um, of course, this one... This one I got from somebody else, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't remember specifically. But, uh, yeah. So, this this was this was my game. This was... I love playing this. Um... Uh, let's see, uh, and then and then this one was pretty cool too. Um, Miss Pac-Man, and oh, some of you may have known if you're into the if you know about the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, and you know about the games. The one game that wasn't a very good game. It was very actually a horrible game. And this was actually E.T. I still have mine. It still works. Uh, and I will admit, this was a very, very weird game to play. Nothing nothing like the movie. Nothing. Except for, you know, you, it actually shows an E.T. running around. That's about it. Um, also, I have other games. I had a ton of games. And honestly, I'm not sure where they're at, <laughs> but uh, I had quite a bit. Um, this was a pretty good game. I love playing that. That was that was a pretty cool game too. So anyway, what you would do is with the TV all hooked up, you would actually just put the cartridge. Into there, you would turn the power on, and it would show up on the uh, show up on the screen. And some games, and back in the day, you had a uh, if you played on a color TV, that's all fine and good. But you can also play on black and white TV. So you would flip that, and the actual color, or I'm sorry, there would be no color; it would just be a black and white image. So you would have your game select here. 
some of these games had different games within the game, and this would select those, and this would re re would restart everything. Um, kind of back in the back here, there's ports for the controller, left and right, the power jack, and it actually had, it's hard to see, but there's switches right here. They're actually difficulty, so different different games used different difficulties. Um, just depended on the, the various game sets and stuff like that. Um, for instance, this uh, this basketball game would actually this basketball game would actually have you instead of I'm sorry, I take that back. It wasn't the basketball game. It was actually, uh, oh, wow, Video Olympics. So what you would do with Video Olympics is you would actually, oh, the difficulties, if you switched it to A, it was always harder. As you could see on the thing, it says expert and novice. So if you would leave it on expert, that would be... So, for instance, in Video Olympics, it would make the, the paddle shorter or longer, was what that switch would do. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so, another thing that was cool about it is this is a switch box. And this is back before RCAs and back before all kinds of stuff. So, you would actually hook this. This one's a little worn out. You would hook this to the... Uh, the screws on the back of the TV, and then you would plug the Atari into this, and you would actually, if you want to watch TV, you put it on TV. If you wanted it to play the, uh, if you wanted to play the, the game, you slide it to that. So, and this thing still works, actually. Um, like I said, Many, 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 many hours playing this thing. Um, now, they've tried to kind of redo this. They've come out with the Atari flashbacks, and I actually have one of those. And it's very, very, very similar to some of these old games. I, I will admit they did a pretty good job. Um, so anyway, that is the Atari. I just thought I'd share it. Um, I don't know if these are worth really much money now. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, it's not the original, uh, Atari. Those were called something, and they had, instead of the difficulty switches here, they had them, these, these were over here, and the difficulty switches were here. And there was a certain model they call it, and for the life of me, I can't think of it at the moment. So, uh, anyway, uh, that's, and maybe sometime I'll make another video. I'll actually have it hooked up. Maybe show a game, a little bit of gameplay here and there. Um, I have several <laughs> TVs that I can hook this to. Um, so anyway, that's, that's this one. So, uh, thanks for watching.